Okay, fantastic. So you bought your Shopify plan, and now when you look at the store, it hasn't got choose a plan written all over the place, and hopefully you're looking at a page something like this. Now, the next thing we need to do is to get a domain, all right? So I wanna draw your attention to how we've been set up for the time being. So if I go over to the store at the moment, what we have is timssuperdeals.myshopify.com. And that is basically what we call a subdomain. It's hosted on my Shopify, and it's a subdomain on my Shopify. It's not our own domain. Now, don't get me wrong, you could build out a store on this and never change it. But when it comes to building your brand and, in fact, being taken seriously, having something on a subdomain or the My Shopify subdomain is really not the way to go. It's really not going to help you build out that professional brand and superb store that you're ultimately looking for. So what we want is a domain such as www.timssuperdeals.com. Now, there are two ways of doing this, all right? I want to make you fully aware of both ways and the limitations, the advantages, and the disadvantages of both so that you can make the correct decision for yourself. Now, option one is to buy your domain through Shopify, which is a very straightforward process. If you just go down to the online store and go to domains, you'll have the option to buy new domain. Obviously, you won't see this if you haven't signed up for the plan, but assuming you have, all you need to do is in this bit here where it says domain, is to type in the domain that I want. So www.timssuperdeals.com. All right, now immediately it tells me whether it's available or not. I've got this tick here, it's available, and it'll cost me $14 for the year. And all I have to do now is go through and buy it, and I would have that domain. And then what would happen is that Shopify would instantly switch from this, timssuperdeals.myshopify.com, to simply timssuperdeals.com. So that's a very, very straightforward process for $14 a year. Now, the disadvantage of this is when it comes to email. Now, Shopify does not have a full-blown email hosting service. What they do is that they forward emails. So what do I mean by that? Well, I signed up with tim at ecommercemindset.com, as I'm sure you remember. And with Shopify, I can set up an email, for example, info at timssuperdeals.com, but then when somebody emails me on that, it will forward it to tim at ecommercemindset.com. So I'll ultimately get all of my email on tim at ecommercemindset.com. I hope that makes sense. So what that means is that when I'm replying to customers, they are also seeing that I'm replying to them with tim at ecommercemindset.com. Nothing to do with Tim's super deals. So I hope you understand that important point. Now, you can certainly work like that. That's not really a big deal. But again, when it comes to building a brand, you are, to a certain extent, confusing your customer with now a different email address. And for me, I just find that unprofessional. But I want to stress, that's my opinion after years in e-commerce, but you can certainly do it that way. So that was option one. So what's option two all about? Well, you might have noticed this link up here, connect existing domain. And what we can do is we can actually buy a domain outside of Shopify, okay? Not at all on the Shopify platform, but with another provider. And then we can connect it to our store. And the advantage of that is I then get the professional email setup that I want. So I'm gonna show you that in the next lecture so that you're fully aware of both options. And as I said before, that will enable you to make the decision that you're most comfortable with.